in your team is a pretty handy haul to be adding to a squad, especially now that they're in flux with a six-man situation. Now, as they head into Dust 2, a map we are yet to see them play here in IEM Beijing, and they picked it against Na'Vi as the second map of the series. T-Star. Very brutal. Na'Vi win up against Vitality on Nuke. It wasn't RV's pick, so it's Vitality's turn to lay down the law and to make an opening statement. As Chad highlighted, it felt like Nuke was determining the opening seven. A 7-0 seven conversion from Na'Vi's T start. Well, Vitality starting on the attack, and it's Electronic attacked. He's on short. They're swinging into mid, taking space. I was set up for success there. They gather resources. There is a lot of space on long. The bombs go in there. As I was trying to fake this out with the smoke and the presence, it might work. But long oh. is the fight, and it's big from Shox and RPK. They take down two of the hardest hitters. Electronic and Simple hit the deck. And Boomich in trouble. Great shots from Zywu. This is a better start. Only the util from Perfecto. It's not going to get him too far. Apex doesn't need more than just the info. He keeps trying to keep them honest. Turns the flash a frag needed. Does plug Flamey. Oh, and a neat and tidy round. All things considered, double for Apex to wrap things up, put a bow on it, and call it one. Yeah, great misdirection there from Vitality. They bottlenecked all three of the Na'Vi individuals over towards the A site. They rotated down towards CT to deal with the mid to B, but it was all a ruse. And then as they pick back out towards long, the T's had already established positions. The fact that they had those glocks at range, it doesn't matter. The pistols of electronic and simple swing on in, they get taken down, and well, that may as well be the round. And the four spider bounce back. No scout from Na'Vi to note. Yeah, they want to close jewels. Lots of utility invested towards long. No one's home from Vitality early. It's just Shark's controlling the long doors push for now. Oh, very slow stuff here. Just the default Apex, of course, onto that scout. He loves it on the four spies as well as the anti-ecos. And operates uh, as a scout with it for his team. A very neat, apt name. Have you seen this smoke a lot? See many teams implement it into the structure. There's a short molly of some description. This one works perfectly. Flashes to swing. Uh, well, they've used a lot of utility just to get this short control right here. And Na'Vi uh, poised and ready just on the other side of this. Boomage will drop his smoke as soon as they feel that they're under threat. One minute left. It's just Nevera now dealing with any pushes here. The rest of the team retooling back towards Long. Apex is left towards middle. Throws the flash on over. Out Long they go. And now Na'Vi caught between a bit of a rock and a hard place. A classic A split and a missed smoke. That's going to cause punishment. Yeah, Nevera can work at least confirm that there's no walk up. Oh, there is. And Simple actually walked perfectly under the guise of the smoke. Navira. Flash is coming. Is he ready for this? Flash from Electronic. He is going to be so blind. Does adjust. Doesn't spray him down. Boom, it's down. AK now lost. And they've got short control. The bomb will be planted all the same. Where did Na'Vi go from here? This is mid-round calling. Bomb is planted. Simple. Charges up short. Electronic baiting in Gandalf. Facto has some nades here. They can set this up. Smoke towards long. Flash yeah. towards the site. Here we go. The smokes are down, advancing. Boomich and Flamey, the first pawns in this chest. Board, it's a big push. Multiple targets, it's overwhelming. Not for Zywu, looking for a third electronic wins it. An AK now, running low on time. Doesn't have a kit, more damage though as he finds RPK. A quick one onto Apex is needed and he does get found. Big frag from the Frenchman. An important one, wins the duel with just the USP. Will steal away an AK and the second round, but damn was that close. Yeah, very good stuff there from Na'Vi. Making a lot with very little, not able to convert. And the fact they get stalled out towards Goose, Zywu grabs a couple here. That's all she wrote, Nevera. Very unlucky. But this is the duel here. Zywu not going down to uh, Electronic immediately, able to get a kill in all of that flurry. And then there's Apex just finishing things off. So that'll be hype for the in-game leader. As they will be opting back in. Three AKs of Mac 10 and Apex will just be operating with the Deagle this time around. Keeping residual cash to buy the AWP for Zai will go in forward. But Simple has just obliterated him. Yep, that's the end of Apex. His story short. Simple made sure of that. Quick second frag added to his list. So now that Apex is dead, right? Someone else is going to have to put their body on the line. Shox is the one operating with that Mac 10. Might want to see him going in first, making a bit of extra space, because if they trade one for one on any areas of these maps, some more AKs drop and potentially fall into the CT remit. Ooh, this nade is great. It's so good. Hasn't done the damage you'd expect. Oh, no. And they've actually caught him straight through the smoke. Navira, a harrowing death into his third round of play. First grand final for him. Boom, there's a USP here. Is he going to play it safe? Looks like he's going to let him into sight. Shot. 
Should be just hiding. Boomich is letting them in though. Disc is so throwable. They can lose this. Shocks has saved them. A double. Boomich baiting. What do you do with this? It's a USP. How are you supposed to profit? Two of them don't know. He's trying to find Locked one. It. He does throw it away. RPK adjusts in time. Gets him down so low though. It's three to zero. Oh, questionable there from Boomich when he goes back. He's going to think, should I have peaked with electronics? Should we have tried to fight them when they were stuck in that tunnel's choke point? But he went for the gambit. He went for the risky play and it hasn't paid off yet. That was a nice shot from Navarro to get him on the board. He's going to be feeling a little bit unlucky with his deaths in the last two rounds. Both around smokes, flashes involved. And here's Boomich, RPK, thinking, Jesus, where the hell did he come from? As away we go, 3-0 for Vitality now. It's great to see them bouncing back in such fashion. It's going to be a four-man Aileen right here from Navi in the early stages. Just the one-man Perfecto to deal with B. Electronic's aggressive cap presence will be felt. That nade called. They know how far forward he can be. That's half of the intention of the grenade. It slows him down. He returns on the flash, or it's actually a nade. Shox is taking a lot of space middle. They've got three players there. Flame is looking the wrong way right now. Oh dear, he was not expecting that. He's lucky to be alive. Makes the call. Feels like mid. Dead. And he's already gone down. It falls to Perfecto. He's been so good. And he continues to be so. Finding one. Shox does trade. The bomb can go down. They have the B site and RPK's gone. It's a, a save call. Fantastic frag. That's the end of that. Save has to be made. Electronic backing away in towards CT for safe, safe shelter. It'll be good to get away from this Electronic if they keep the pressure on and Simple goes down here. Oh my God. He's been hunted. Apex is charging through T-Spawn. Simple will hear this. <laughs> no scopes Apex. Will he hold the AWP? They should hightail it after him here. Take this AWP away. It is simple, right? This isn't just... Any day of the week, Orpa, we're talking about. I know they don't want to throw away too much cash, but RPK is low. May as well get on in with it. Take the risk. RPK making a lot of noise. Another no scope. Go on. Out of third tier list. He'd rather survive. He is being hunted. I think he's done enough. Shogs holding the line. Simple refuses to give it to him. Great stuff in the survival of the AWP, but it was the B pincer. And it works wonderfully. And yeah, Flamey went to drop a smoke at doors there, but didn't have one. So the Molotov would have worked against him. He was tucked in. And he got punished. That is the key to Vitality in their fourth round. So great stuff. Really good pace change. Navi are dropping that deeper door smoke as well. So the gap cannot be punished in the immediate stages, but they still continue through knowing that Flamey unlikely to have that double AWP and eyes on middle. It works perfectly in Vitality. Looking good. Oh Ooh. my God. There's no way he saw anything. That there. is illegal. Apex has just bopped the head off of Electronic. I didn't even feel like his crosshair was in the right place. That was so deep on the cross as well. Well, wow, that's one way to make a very big, big advantage already. Buy against just pistols. Well, Maybe with a nice single here. Desert Eagle to defend against the full Vitality B hit. I don't know how. Let's see what you've got for us. First bullet needs to be accurate. And it is. Two to the belly. Navira trading. Perfecto on the flash. Plans Ooh, to close smoke. the gap. It does get him in. Yeah, and now the CT smoke. Blooms in the tunnels. They will start to recede. Simple addresses mid. Oh, he's holding the perfect line. A big frag from Simple. Boomich and Zywu. Oh, and a clean Ooh. pistol P250. Headshot gets us going. 3v2 as they pivot A, and it's working. Simple and Perfecto are miles away. Navira should be able to... He's not... Navira? He is it. And Perfecto's got him. Suddenly an AK falls into enemy hands. This is worth a crack right now. Yeah, Zywu's got the cross, though, and he's not going to miss. Perfecto, a very short-lived AK-47. Simple's already clutched up once so far this final. He's going to give it a go. Apex planted. Let's find this quick. Oh, he's called it off. He's called it off. Doesn't want to buy to this one. Needs the AWP. Won't be able to afford it going forward to get all the, oh, those nades. His teammates, they're lacking cash, so maybe they want to drop from him. It was a chance. The lack of kit probably dissuading him. He would have known that Zywu rotating through long is always a hard head-to-head -head AWP duel and still had to get past Apex, who planted that bomb towards the site. But there was moments there, and that smoke towards the doors from Vitality was actually a little bit deep. We get a quick glance at Simple with a gap underneath it. So if Vitality actually flooded onto the B bomb site, Simple may have been good for one or two extra kills just there. Popping up the uh, damage, but all in all, they've saved the big green. That was the only weapon they came into round number five with. Good shooting from Zywu. Getting them online early here in map two. They are keeping it costly, so that's a positive from Na'Vi within the early stages here. The money hasn't ballooned the same weight for Vitality as what it did for Na'Vi on their map pick of Nuke. True. Yeah, we were around round seven when Simple had 13 grand, so not on track for the same. So they're really putting a lot of pressure 
on Mr. Perfecto early. He'll solo that B site, use his protocol nades to stop any rushes. Flamey's boosting and assisting A, and then he has to rotate back. So that's going to be a dicey one if Vitality do any pace changes towards fast middle or straight out towards that B bomb site, and Perfecto gets overrun. But right now, Na'Vi need an answer, and Simple's looking for one. Aggressive towards long with the AWP. Lots of pressure on his shoulders. He's actually out of play. He's being held at bay by shocks, and the fact that on default, teams will just spread out in this fashion. One outside long, one in the upper tunnels. That's the extremities dealt with, and three taking cat as the nades land down on Apex. So some good damage there, but it's unconfirmed. They don't know if anybody was home, if anybody received that. Simple had a chance. Yeah, and he's actually hit shocks. He'll be working with very little for the rest of the round. Electronic scouted out towards ramp as well. They've got 60 seconds, though. They're in absolutely no rush. Don't forget the AWP is actually... or well, the second AWP, I should say, is on B. Flamey given that responsibility. It's one nade on Perfecto. That might get dunked into tunnels at the right timing. Could get a kill or two. But now that Shox has been thrown over the AWP in Bogdan's Law, it'll be safe from any early damage. Mid to B, smoke's come in. Simple's coming for the boost. They're flashing through. They're going to go for this. It's all about timing. Flash is perfect. Look at that. Zai was so blind. Electronic sets him up for success, and the success is found. Multi kill. AK upgrades its dreamy for Na'Vi. They post their first on the defense, and I love the flash from Electronic. Yeah, they didn't panic there under pressure from the mid to B. Most teams will spam the smoke or get a little bit frazzled, but they're Na'Vi. They understand how they want to deal with that, and that'll force the time out of Vitality here. Similar fashion as to Nuke after Na'Vi dropped their first round in the 7 to 1 run. They took a timeout, and Vitality up 5-0. Now 5-1 take a timeout of their own. So both teams being very, very liberal with these timeouts. Now, not a crazy amount to discuss here, but the money has already been whittled down to the point where a buy is questionable. A couple of members not operating with everything they need. Got 3.4 on RPK, 3.1 on Apex, Shocks there at 3.8. That's before the investments have come on through, and now they've bought. You can see what that means. Zoe on the AWP is good. RPK with a Khalil, not great. Apex on the Tech 9, and Shocks yet to buy. He'll opt in with a Khalil as well. They can make this work. They're just operating at a little bit of a disadvantage considering the weaponry right now for Na'Vi. Those double ops retained, and AK's picked up for Electronics. So another slow default spread. Nade perfectly timed. Navira getting battered by that one. And as we mentioned, he's always shown up for Vitality so far. Be the first time to see him not do so, but he already has five kills to his name and 108 ADR, so things are looking very good. Harvey love playing in you transition do. around these positions, and not too many teams are comfortable doing so. Really it's want to harass it's, it. It's electronic and simple. Yeah. You know? like they, they have their own approach, and it is definitely not for the faint of heart. Once again, it is this default spread. The reason he's jumping, by the way, is you can crouch under the line if you're standing. He has to check that no one's trying to pull a fast one. Back to middle for electronic, 60 second mark. That is the gathering of the vitality resources. They still have five smokes. Ooh. Look, it doesn't help them. I mean, they too can much. They, could, they could fake A and pull electronic up the ramp and then hit that mid to B flamey perfecto setup. We've seen it before. They might want to drop this Tech 9 into spawn, right? So if they do these wall smokes, Apex can operate quite well with that. 30 seconds, and it doesn't feel like there's any clear intent right now. I'm getting worried for Vitality. Bomb is on Zaiwu. Very disconnected. Here they go. Dropping. CT. Electronic was, will be vulnerable. He's been found by Apex, chasing him down. But the spray. Oh, Perfecto. A big test for him. He's been great, but Zaiwu's found him. Now it is open. B is open. 15 seconds. There's no one that can punish the plant. Simple and Boomich. Might be better off saving their resources. It's successful right down to the final wire, though. But a B finish and a sick for Vitality, oh, maybe. Yes, Shox has taken the AWP away. Boomich can save it. It will be continue to be tested. How's your AWP, Boomich? I hope you've been warming it up. Oh, they were thinking about coming for Ooh. it, but now the Ferris cancelled that. So conservative play from Vitality. The hunt was on, and this is what we saw against Heroic. They knew when they needed to build the bank, and they knew when they needed to hunt. And this is one of the situations of the former as opposed to the latter. Just allowing this AWP to get carried through. Sure, Simple will get another crack at it. And sure, it is Simple who can find a lot of impact. But for the remainder of the Na'Vi players, not operating with too much. Boomich will be able to buy himself. Simple will be able to drop a rifle across. Electronic's going to need that. And Perfecto and Flamey, unfortunately for them, they're likely going to be told, hey, boys, uh, buy whatever you need. They could operate with double orbs right now, but that would mean Electronic uh, might go without a weapon, at least a rifle. 
It's a good chase here from Shocks, and it was exactly that. They went for the spawn drop to cut off the rotation. You could see Electronic just stuck between a rock and a hard place, completely blind, knowing that he was going to get flanked. God, yeah, and they were dropping CT as that flash came comes for the CT player. Like, you are, you're booked. Yeah, very well coordinated from Vitality there. And as we get back underway, Na'Vi have opted in. So Electronic did get a rifle out of that. Didn't even buy a lot of utility, so interesting. Two AWPs, they've made the buy work, and Simple almost hits that shot. Oh, Electronic, you're playing with fire here, bro. Actually just gobbles up the flash and some lead. Navira, the one to feed him. That explains the lack of utility. You're going for an aggressive play like that, you're not going to need it. They had the forethought, and he's pre-aiming that. Are you serious? I can't believe he's pre-aiming that! He must have heard something. That's enough for Boomich. Can't believe he's pulled a trade like that out of it. Pushing long doors as a CT is always a gamble, but he makes that look like a calculated risk. Lovely stuff. The crosshair placement, perfect. Shocks, he's been demoed. Well, they're straight back to B right now. All four members of Vitality are going to be in the upper tunnels. On the other side of this, it's Perfecto on platform with the M4. Outside the doors will be flamey. But we've seen smokes through the skylights here from Vitality. Are they going to go for the same approach? Looks like Zywoo is. Good timing on that smoke. They're going to go through it. Two flashes. Flamey to be smoked off doors. He does have a moment to pull the trigger, but Perfecto isolated now. Pushing through. They need to time this well. The flashes are good. And Come collateral on. on the cross. Simple's lined up two, and it's a massacre. Vitality concede. Na'Vi post two. Yeah, understanding the necessity to fight there. You lose that B bomb site. So retakes become very, very difficult. So getting stuck in, making sure Vitality can't set up that bomb and go for those post plant positions. Another Na'Vi 4v5, by the way. Well, I can't believe Boomich was prepared for that. I, I didn't see initially how Shocks got there or what Boomich would have heard, but all in all, that is a very big kill to find. And that leveling up the field helps Na'Vi get back underway. Vitality are forced in here. They've got some AKs to work with, a few Deagles, and the opening kill goes to Simple. They had AKs. I think there's no need to pluralize anymore. It'll be tough to recover. Apex has actually just burned down to 42. Oh, great, Ned. To do so. Oh, it's a bit shallow. It did look perfect, just a little off the mark. Now a big duel. Electronic tested by Zywoo and Navira. They got a bit of flux about them now, Vitality. On their pistol round, they showed intent towards the mid to be and then popped out long, but harder to do on these gun rounds. And Apex is going for a play here. He's on his own. In-game leader versus in-game leader. Boomich on the other side of this. All right. Well, the smoke <laughs> spam will uh, continue as another 20 seconds of waiting. Oh, no. This is going to get really tough. Smoke in the long corner does mean they can check pit, but it means Electronic has got a lovely smoke to play behind, and they're flashing through it. Looking good. Navira has clawed one back. His Deagle tested. Shox is there with him. He survives as well. Weathers the Storm 9 HP dropping. Util simple the same. He'll be using that to isolate this jewel onto Apex, which he has successfully done. Wants to peek around his own smoke. Shox knows it. And simple punishes, even confirming Navira's position. Not quite the stylish 4K. Already triples up, and there's the four now. Simple up to his usual tricks, putting Na'Vi back on the board with the quad kill on that AWP. You see why they save it now, Chad? Yeah, 11 kills for Simple now. He's continuing that fantastic form. Here's the opening da -da -da. pick. And I love that. Drop the smoke. All right, boys. That's all right. You can die it long. I'll uh, I'll just use my $300 shield and get myself yeah. the last couple of kills. So Simple styling on them right now, but Vitality still hold the lead. Scoreline 6-3. to three. They're going to opt in with some light investments. There's just a couple of P250s and three Glocks. So all in all, this should be the fourth for Na'Vi unless they make some huge blunders. And Boomich is getting a bit inquisitive here. Aggressive on the anti-eco. Has a rifle to give away, but also a lot of information. And there's Simple. Takes down Zywu. Not only was that the big man, it's the bomb. So they know at least it was towards the top middle. There's still a minute 20 left on the clock, and they're not going to fight for control of this. But Na'Vi should op know what buy they're operating up against now and should be able to whittle this down without too many dramas whatsoever. There's not even a flash or a smoke to work with here for Vitality, so it should just be a shooting gallery. Yeah, in the dream world, it's a bomb plant. Just double dink electronic, somehow simples, mouse falls off his table, <laughs> and you plant. The power goes out. Yeah. There we go. Electronics like uh, deploying his shield. That's the bomb. And that's the round. Jesus. <laughs> another three. Oh, another four, mind you. He got Zywoo at the start of the round. So continuing his bag. 15 now for Simple. <laughs> He's definitely got a point to prove. Even if they may have just been a quick 4K, the round prior was with a Team Vitality buy. 
clean, precise shooting. That is another 4K. And the final bullet is USP just into the brain of shock. So it's, it's good that um, Smuya let him practice his position last night. So yeah, how see, kind of him. You see what's happening now. Really. Had to get that dust to warm up in. This looks like a late long pounce. They have a chance to isolate Boomich, who has been playing these positions on his lonesome quite often. Whoa, Boomich, what are you made of, my man? Nothing at this point. Simple did manage to find one on the cat lurk. So now they can just pr probably, by process of elimination, focus their attention towards long. So they've cleared pit. Zawu can tuck in. Now they can go with the Na'Vi approach against Na'Vi with this long control and the smokes that they're currently operating with. It's four of which they can uh, just wait this one out. They can even throw a couple of bait smokes. Current, covering the flank right now will be RPK and the other three of them just need to wait. Try and bait out any utility that you can. Put as much pressure on and make sure that the CTs don't take back control. Here comes the first wave of smokes and off of this utility might be dropped. Simple Look at down this. One. This is so deliberate. And now he's going to try and play around this as they push into the site. They're continuing. They're actually taking the site. His own smoke to play around, and it's worked. Oh he isolates God. the jump up. Now he can peek into Navira. This is a shooting gallery for Simple. It's practically deathmatch. A battle of the world's greatest. Or is it just the greatest? Simple with five. 20 and four. Get out of my server. Is that back-to-back -back quad kills into an ace? Yes. Yes, Chad. That is... It's hard maths, but it's 14 frags in three rounds. Just expletive off. Yeah, Who is this Zaiwu guy? Probably having a bit of a laugh as well. Jeez, okay. Um, Simple's here. I don't know if you guys have met him before, but 20 kills so far, and we still have a bunch of rounds yet to be played in this first half. Six right. to five. Pistols are back out. There's a chance for him to rack up a bunch more. Where were you when Simple in one grand final filled the entire Reddit front page? Probably don't go A. Um, that's what I'm going to be saying if I'm Apex. Hey, guys, um, what do you think about B? Yeah, you know, that's the second letter of the alphabet. I've heard good things about it. So let's see what's going on over there, shall we? they got a B in the logo, and they want to hit the same site. It's Perfecto's turn to find the multi-kill that wins the round. He's just sprayed down three, or he's two of them with bullets, one with the flame. And Apex and Shox, he's scratching their heads. What do you do about this? How do you solve a problem like Perfecto? Another kill, four for him. He may as well give him the ace. Oh, Flame, you've got to steal it. I know you are. No, nope, not today. Apex denies it. Give it to him. It's an ace for Perfecto in a grand final here for IEM Beijing as they tie it all up. The 6-0 start in RV, giving us a tutorial on how to claw it back. Vitality's pick, and now six to six. All right. Well, Vitality, what are you going to give us now? Your long take didn't work. That is six rounds in the last seven of play. Oh, dear. Okay. It's stalled out here. Very much so. Vitality need to come alive. This is map number two. It is a best of five grand final. There's a lot more Counter-Strike still to be played, but with how online simple is right now, I am getting worried. Rotating him back towards middle. They're only going to have two AWPs to deal with. Flamey trying to see if he can find anybody jumping up Xbox or sneaking up Catwalk. Boomich again towards long. He was the first to die last time round. zaiwu has got his AWP trained. So if you want to get cheeky about this one, Boomich, going to go through the big green. Lots of pressure. Four on the other side. Tucked in. Oh, a perfect multi-kill. RPK into Vera. He tucked away from the wall bang. Yeah, he just finds the perfect safe haven. Drops the smoke for survival. Boomich weathers the spray. Na'Vi again sees the advantage in the play. Shox is in position. He doesn't have the smoke. He'll go flash. That's perfect. They can clean up Flamey at least. They know Perfecto's just on B right now. They could put a lot of pressure on him and maybe get the bomb site, but they will have to trade him out. So I was slowing down this mid to B with a smoke and molly combo. Simple's going to disrespect it, of course. Didn't take a single point of damage. And now he's backing up B. The same gap you outlined is now filled by Simple, who just happens to have 20 frags in 12 rounds of play. 160 ADR. Electronics out of nades here. He might just tuck on down and let them push up. If he takes a fight and dies, A will be open and Boomich is isolated. The footsteps are being heard. Oh, here we go, Electronic. First test. Wow, that's a quick adjustment. Takes down shocks. Zywoo spotted. Apex finding Boomich. Electronic has to tuck away from long. He hears Zywoo hunting. 
10 seconds if he could deny the plant somehow. Maybe Apex can find the Hunter. They can't boost. He's dropping a smoke to play around. Looking to turn this around. They need it. Zywu misses his shot. Apex already with two. A boost is still being considered. Can they stop it? Zywu's knock symbol off the boost. A crucial one for the French. Perfecto to clutch. He's found Apex. Can't adjust. And a very big win for Vitality. Back on the board with a seventh. Needed that. Needed that. That was a three on five situation. They whittled down all by taking Flamey out first and then just isolating some jewels. Felt like Electronic had done enough on the site there, but getting a little bit tricky around the smokes. Na'Vi, we drop around where Boomich, the in-game leader, kicks things off. Yeah, look at this. He's even found a third. That really is overcoming the odds. Yeah, big kills here by Apex, contributing with Zywood. Simple goes down, then Perfecto through the smoke. Good trade. And away you go. It's a big one to win. Seven to six is the scoreline now. Tactical timeout will be called. And that's going to feel good. Um, yeah, they've, they've been made to work very hard for this. I mean, I expect nothing less in a final of this proportion, but very close half now. You can see the distribution of rounds. It's been a half of two halves. Quarters, if you will. And we're here in the second quarter. The tail end of the second quarter, mind you. <laughs> What's the end of the first half? We'll see how much we can confuse you out there as it will be a uh, long duel. Orp versus Orp. Simples won it very quickly. Very, very stylish start. 21st frag found as Zywu tries to take some initiative, tries to fix up the stats. He's staying mobile as well. So he's now repositioned back over towards middle. This is what Zywu was trying to do on the CT side of Nuke. Just very agile with the AWP. Now Simples doing it here on Dust2. The best map to do it on, some might say. He wants Apex. And he's found Apex just he is a marauder. sleeping. Anyone else? Peek me! They all do! Anyone that presents into his crosshairs is eliminated. Go on, Flamey. A quick one. On to RPK. Simple wants another quad kill. I think he hasn't had enough of them. A 24th frag. He is sending Vitality. He's practically packing their bags for them. Keeping it going. This is a stylish start. It's up against Zywoo. Doesn't look like he's even breaking a sweat at this point. Everyone, why are we peeking into this man? He's not missing. Vitality now, fifth grand final of the year. And Simple does this. You got to think, they've made it all the way to these grand finals time and time again. And now the big man absolutely leveling them here. He's almost getting a chance over the top of the smoke. And he does. <laughs> Look at that. He even cops the scout shot. Apex shot first. Simple doesn't care, doesn't flinch. Pulls the trigger perfectly. That's a 12th death put for Apex's count. He's over towards B now as well, and that's where they've had some of their success vitality. So if they want to try and finish on the B bomb site, they have to get through simple. He's got Flamey in tow. Perfecto's over towards middle right now. That side of the map is fortified. Boomich so deady towards long. They just leave him to his own devices, knowing that he'll either be good for info or a kill. And Electronic sits on the A ramp. It's perfect right now for Na'Vi, and they're up against a scout, two deagles, and an AK. There's a bucket load of utility. There's plenty of time on the clock. That's not the problem. That hasn't been the issue for Vitality here. It's this man. He's won at least three rounds single-handedly. Make it four. Can this be the fifth? You know, Chad, I believe so. Perfectly, effortlessly. Has not been flashed once. And now his vision's maintained. Attack, the Deagle frag. Dishox does trade him, so damage done. But that's the bomb. Perfecto's found a crucial component of this retake. It slowed them down now. The pressure can be applied. Perfecto's got himself ready for window. 35 seconds. The noose tightening as the tunnels are being locked down by Boomich. And Shox is actually prioritizing Boomich. The passive stance from Boomich does keep him alive. 25. Oh, we are not giving him anything. It will be perfecto to take first contact. A flash on him. Which is coming now, perfect timing. Yeah, well, he's looked at the clock. He knows he can just has to stop the plant. And they swing together. It doesn't look easier. Eight to the Vitality seven, and they found six of them at the very start. Looks like Na'Vi have got control. Can they twist the knife into a 2-0 to start off the best of five?
that we're tied up And I hate to admit it, my tears dried up This story's over, we're getting older We're never sober, I'm so hungover But inside I know there's still a light that keeps us together And there is no thing I would rather have Together with our reliance It shouldn't be rocket science, hey If I'm being honest We're just feeling lost inside Baby, I know that I fucked up But hear me out just a minute I'll say what's up We can't be broken by words unspoken Our life's an ocean, but right now it's frozen But inside I know there's still a light that keeps us together And there is no thing I would rather have Together with our reliance It shouldn't be rocket science, hey If I'm being honest We're just feeling lost inside Look into your eyes, I see the colors of your soul and I recognize Every single line, every single roadblock We got two hearts that beat in time And the tide was looking down all night Blocking out the sun that we need Maybe we can change our stripes and colors You're the only one I see And I take it all Two 4Ks into an ace to summarize our first half. And by my maths, Chad, that's 14. By most human realm maths, that's 13. Yeah. But still impressive. I mean, you know, I've done the maths. I got the calculator out and I've worked it out. You were close, but no cigar right there. Listen, my Twitter description was I'm bad at maths for about five years. Might have to throw it back in. I apologize. But what I lack in numbers, I make up for in noises. I'm one of your noisemakers. Sponge is the other. GG.bet favor Na'Vi quite heavily in this grand final. One can understand why. But the half is certainly much more convincing than it was over on Nuke. Simple. Hunting for an opening frag. If he'd have got it, I'm sure things would have looked different. But just a chance. Nivera has weathered the storm so far. And we'll take some mid control here. Flashed out the doors. Flamey has a little bit of a look. Sees nobody's home. That's going to help them mid to late round if they want to go back for a mid to B. Now we can see up Cat. They're just working with a Molotov and two flashes here. So this is a difficult approach. These flashes are going to have to be picture perfect to keep Apex blind. Mm. Only towards the side, the nade in exchange. Here comes the flashes. Oh, oh, that nade is perfect. Halves, electronics health. Flash to evade them, but they're crossing in close. Apex got a lot on his plate. RPK in support, can't find them. Zywoo swinging in, electronic already with the first frag. Oh, Simple so is cheeky. pincered and locked them in from B. Navira has to address them, has to deal with Simple. He's so disconnected from the pack and the frags are all favoring his teammates. It gets awkward for shocks. A mouse wheel jump, still a frag. Onto Navira in the 1v2. Winnable. Kick close. Perfecto wants the info on short. Navira wants to punish. He's now... Running a little bit low on time. Clean shots required. He knows where they both are. Navi running that clock down to perfection and Navira's chances dwindling here. Fresh mag. Hard frag. I was plucked the head off of Perfecto with a good one, but that's nine for Na'Vi. Almost got out of control there. There was a lot of kills which fell foul over there towards CT spawn, but all in all, Na'Vi, they mop it up and they're able to walk away with a pistol round on a map that 
they like as well. And you're going to hear a lot of that within this series. We went to Overpass as the third map. And that's a map where Vitality have been playing some great CS lately too. So there's a lot to sink our teeth into here today. But first and foremost, we have to get through this one as the Force Buy will come out. Apex onto the Scout, MP9 for Shocks, Eagles for the other three, and Simple Cops a tag early. So Apex getting the better of him in the early stages of round number 17. And he even wants to hang around knowing that damage needs to be done. The warning shot, nade through, not doing any damage. He's not backing down from this Apex. He's locked one in towards the top mid green box. If Flamey goes for a little jiggle, he might cop a tag. Long control. 2A smokes early from Boomish and Electronic. They want to get the CTs nervous. Ooh, Flamey it's... did get tagged there. Damage. They're going back towards B. Only one man on the site right Ooh, now. Good shot from Electronic. All on shots. And shots is pushed forward straight into Simple Scout. They have the site. It's all theirs. And I'm afraid the... Cruel reality for the CTs is now it's a battle of survival. Maintain what you have. Bomb has been planted. I don't think Flamey's going to let that happen. He's already pushed out bridge. He's going to deny oh, almost the scout. Nevera gets around the corner. And how much does Flamey want this? He's low as well. Can't take any damage or too much damage because he's going to be falling. He's contained them now. Cleared off that A bomb site. The rest of the players from Navi are starting the hunt. One towards CT. That'll be simple. He might take this long range duel. You've got... Tightening the noose electronic from T spawn. They are towards pit and the long doors. This is not easy fights to take, but look at this on the fly up and over we go. They're going to use this boost and exploit the smoke. Vera's getting peaked on. It's so good. An RPK, lovely deagle work. Can he finish the job? It's not far off. There we have it. Electronic actually Galil. met by the hunt, and now they will recover a Galil. RPK <laughs> eventually taken down, but they aren't probably too dissatisfied with that. I think the Galil falling in the hands of Zaiwu does suck, but the fact that RPK didn't get to hold on to that Deagle as well, that is a, a much better ending to the round. Na'Vi were looking for that hunt, and I guess they want to continue to punish the economy of Vitality here. Knowing that was an all-in, it was a forced buy. They will have to operate on an eco right now, but they do have this Galil. So Zaiwu, if he can find himself at the right place at the right time, he's good for a couple here. Uh, Na'Vi have had to reinvest on four of their members. Three AKs, two SMGs. A bit more pep in their step right now as they take mid control quickly. Boomich mantling on up. That Mac 10 in hand will be on the entry duties to make some space. The flashes are good. And they have short control and mid within the early stages. If ever there was a time for a Zywoo round, this would be it. But it's the Kevlar behind the Galil. The rest are the pawns. This is our queen, Zywoo. They're locked. They have to fight now. He needs to be tapping, but he's been caught. It's just Electronic's AK that draws the blood of the potent rifle, and there's more for Electronic as well. Making sure there's no threats. Boomich very low after RPK's Deagle work, but still no casualties. Simple adds another quarter 29. to the wagon. He's actually about to find 30 frags in the third round of our second half here. That was so well done there from Na'Vi. The second wave of nades came out at perfect timing, and Nevera, he can't convert. Perfecto will finish him off. It's a clean sheet from Na'Vi. Lots of damage done, but no kills converted, as Vitality now will have to buy on in. And operating with 5.8k, Zywoo is surely looking to get out the big green. Keep, 29. Keep your eyes on Nevera. He might do some secondary orping duties over towards B. Not in this round. The rifle will be picked on up. He's got an M4, a smoker, and a flash. Simple as the same amount of frags as RPK shocks and Apex combined. That is insane. He is uh, really running away with this here today. Oh. All right, well. This is something, a spectacle to behold. As Vitality's map pick, and they're being made to look a little foolish here. Flamey does inflict some good damage, unconfirmed as it may be. Remember, it was 5-0 to kick this off from Vitality, and since then, they've only managed to post two more rounds, so... Really backs against the wall. This has been one-way traffic for Na'Vi since then. Zywu so set up on short. The protocols often force the AWPer out of this angle before he ever gets to take a shot. I'd be surprised if there's an exception to that rule here. Boomich? Surely not. Yes, it's enough. He actually finds it. Boomich setting up his nade exposes himself. Zywu has opened us up with the first. Na'Vi, no stranger to overcoming a man disadvantage, though. We saw plenty of it on our first, and another opportunity to do so here. Don't forget, unconfirmed damage on the initial spray. Yeah, seems unlikely they're going to go late long. They want to try and avoid this Zawu AWP. Two players looking for a pick right now towards B, and another smoke's just been thrown on out. So that B defense is now just operating with two flashes and a HE for Nevera and Shocks alike. 
and towards the upper tunnel is not going to do any damage whatsoever. So both of them completely rooted on towards that B bomb site. No eyes on mid to B now that it's been smoked off. Apex wants to have a look. Might have to take a gamble here. Another smoke for the mid to B, so he's not going to push this. They need wow. to get a couple. This is Navira first. Real test on the B hold. The flash is good. The molly. Too deep. Too deep. He actually gets to live. This is crazy, and it could very well be round defining. Peeking into simple, though. Not easy. Shocks needs a multi. Nine seconds. Flamey. Good frag. The bomb's loose. Simple. He's just a. Oh, got enough time, he hasn't. He'd have to get both of the frags and they're peeking. Oh. Zywoo survives by the skin of his teeth. He actually had the chance, simple faking at six seconds and he got both of the jewels. Oh. Okay, Vitality, an eighth given to them by a Nat's wing. And it's timeout time. First from Na'Vi here on our second map. Vitality, eight. And that's the first CT round they've posted. It's Zywoo's contributions again that do lead to the victory. There's your 30 frag in round 19. Simple. <laughs> so close there. Yeah, it was, man. Look at Shox's face. That would have been that would have been the the double kit pistol of Dust 2. Yeah, there was a lot of pressure on in that moment with only the four or five seconds left as that bomb sound starts going down. Of course, they're gonna force forward looking for him. Simple knew he didn't have enough time to plant, takes the fights and almost converts 32 kills, three assists, eight deaths, 152 ADR. With an ult, by the way. And this is the thing, right? When we talk about Simple, he can have these performances, but I didn't wake up today expecting him to be having back-to-back -back mammoth games here in a best of five grand final. He is uh, definitely motivated for this one as Boomich taking space. Has to be careful. A couple of eyes Ooh. looking towards him. Make that three. He's into the... Guys, the shock's there, finish. Oh, <laughs> Simple's just pipped him through the door, jumping back. And now the trade for Electronic as well. They've got the number advantage. You really don't see that every day. And he wants Zywoo. He's gonna find oh. him. <laughs> 34. Just climbing up. They still need five more rounds to convert this map. How many more kills can this guy get? I honestly don't know. What? <laughs> what are the records? I don't know, I don't. Someone, have I don't have turned my phone off for this. My phone's off as well, so um, maybe let Rush know. Send us a pitch. Tweet at Rush. Lee. Tweet at Rush. Tweet at what, Rush Lee, one, two, three, four, five, six. Simple's doing something, especially in grand finals. Get the HLTV Wizards on it. But RPK and Navira hanging out, chilling. Hoping for a Navi slip up. They cross their T's. If they dot their I's, there should be no way back in. Simple's continuing to keep two players busy. The only two players he goes busy. Down. Four oh, HP. He will get go. dunked. Finally, they've bested him. And the bomb will go down with a long plant. It spells trouble. Low HP. Four electronic. He's not taking Saving. that orb long, and they are just going to have to accept and cut their losses. This will put a 12 on the board and a 34 frag total for Simple. Wow. All right. 12 to 8. Can I see that shocks in the replay? I'm sure we will. Uh, Max is on the ball today. But he's caught shocks, jumping back. Normally, that is nothing more than, I mean, at most a tag to take the headshot through the door. Yeah, and the thing is, shocks gets the opening right there, and he was just trying to get out of dodge because you don't want to be isolated on that side of the doors. And like you said, you, you don't expect to get punished like that. It's, it's hard to hit those shots the best of times, let alone in a grand final. So... They've saved the AWP, they're looking good. Bank is built. I feel like Vitality should take a timeout here. They have some to work with. They have some things to discuss right now because they've just been bounced back on immediately. They will save these guns. They will continue to, to be threatening, but all in all, what can they opt for? There it is, the timeout. So one more remaining after this. We're at the business end of the game, it feels like. So Boomich is jumping up. He's not looking, right? Shock's here. Swings out. That yeah, gets the kill. Refrag. And, okay, so a little replay bot didn't... Well, did it catch? No, it didn't catch the kill. So it all happened too quick there. Oh, well. I like the way he actually peeked into Zywoo there, looking like he had it perfectly red. He knows what's going down. Is it intuition? Is it heat maps? Is it a combination of both of them? I, Since we don't get answers to tonight. Yeah, I, I, I just feel this man right now is uh, vibing it. He's feeling it. He really is. He's uh, in the zone, I think, is probably the most I mean, you don't... generic tag I could slap on Yeah, it. the flow state. He's definitely in that. And I think just being told that some people think this guy's better than you 
and it's a grand final are probably enough of a motivation for someone that's dedicated his life to mastering the craft that is Counter-Strike. Well, here he gets another duel. Nevera has the AWP this time round. So I was just operating on a pistol. Out towards long. This time it won't be the fast approach, but they're taking it late. And Electronic is going to be an absolute rat around these smokes. Going for a nutmeg play. Shox is on the other side. Perfecto back to plug up the gap. And here's a flash ready and ready to go. Here it comes. Shox is through. He's going to pass him. Yeah, and he gets them both with his positioning alone. Baldy shot's testament to that. They're up long. Na'Vi had four there. Holding Perfecto's the rotate. going to destroy them as well. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that. Navira should and does connect onto Perfecto, but it is all too little, too late. Zaiwu, the AWP on Navira likely going to be seen in his hands if they can keep it. That's clearly an if. <laughs> All right, Zaiwu, good luck. They're already in CT spawn. Uh, to B, go spawn. Which way do you go in, Chad? Left or right? Ah, backyard, maybe. Try and get some distance between you and them. He has a no info T spawn. Doesn't want to go there yet. They've got him completely locked. There's a player coming from B Hill. That's Flamey. He's already made it across oh, yeah. the window. Sorry, Zywoo. Boom. That is the 13th now, and it will be the buy round for Vitality. They did take a partial investment with those saved guns, but all in all, we haven't seen much fire down in this second half again. And that was great from Electronic. We saw a similar scene within the early stages of the first half when Nevera was dealt a flash in his face. He went down. Electronic stands tall, gets two, and basically wins it right there. So they lost all the guns. They didn't get much damage to the economy whatsoever. And Na'Vi, they're continuing forward with this. Their game plan is working perfectly. Zyro on the corner, flashed off. He's already under pressure. They're trying to set him up for some more here. Puffy's going forward. This is insane. Simple timing. Wasn't bad. Oh my Boom, god, it's a chain crash. Better. It's not even a car crash. Yeah, in slow motion, as long is lost. And they invested three players into it. Everything is going right for Na'Vi. Every single decision, every single call, they've got to move for no matter what scenario they find themselves in. That corner smoke forcing them wide. Now it's just Nevera. He gets a leg shot. It's not even the kill. Perfecto gets to wipe the sweat off his brow. It couldn't be going better. It really couldn't. That's 14 already. Vitality, nothing in stark contrast with the statement you just made has gone their way. Oh. So often, these early casualties just translate into misery. They, Nevera's he, running, straight running straight into, into Boomich it. with his knife out. It's going to be another painful death. A bitter pill to swallow. Na'Vi set for success now. Boomich adds, adds three to his score tally. And this is how it happened. They just line up. Like, it can't get any easier than that. That corner smoke was dropped. Ooh, oh, gosh, dear. Yeah, yeah you're, you're yeah. bubbling over. The coach is doing it. The in-game leader is doing it. You've been in four grand finals. This is their fifth, correct? Yeah, their fifth grand final of 2020. They have yet to lift a trophy. They have been the bridesmaid every single time. I would say I want to wear the dress one day. I reckon if anyone gets anything silver for these Vitality players on Christmas, they are going to be mad. Sick of the silver, sick of that second place. Na'Vi are making them work for every round if they want to chase the gold here. All right. That's info. Yeah, and it's damage. So oh, and it's and completely perfecto. false info because they've all just crossed back to long. I'll get juked. All right. Well, the, the, there's a shot for Vitality in this one because of the low HP. But if Na'Vi continue to play as clean as what they have, they'll have a move for every single yeah. decision they want to make. The timing on this push, they're going to see nobody home towards middle. That Molotov, that was the only sign of life. It's all five doing the classic play through long. Perfecto might just... Hang around top middle here. Working with only one flash in Nevera's hands, right? So if it is this long play, Nevera needs to set them up, but they're just going contact right now. They might not do the smokes. This is not telegraphed at all. A gambling bee. There's nobody home. It's perfect. It's truly flawless. Oh, come on now. This is getting silly. They had more smokes for the cross, but instead of dropping double and allowing it to be played around with the pistols, Simple's just pushing forward. He wants more frags. He's not going to get him, but he's hungry for more. <laughs> he is. It's Boomich that will take his place, though, and wrap this one up as neat and tidy as it possibly could be. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Na'Vi have come in absolutely scorching. Simple looks omnipotent. 36 and 10 on Vitality's pick. Apex is truly taken off his headset and his glasses at the end of a round. They're feeling completely 
absent of ideas and innovation. They don't know what to do. This is a double lot panic button. It's been hit, final round potentially. Flamey fires off an orb shot, they've pulled out. Flamey's orb for this one, Simple's got other plans. It's walking down middle and finding shocks, he's gone. The nemesis has been eliminated, bested by shocks. A window for vitality, they have to jump through this and they have to jump through it with as little casualties as possible. Bomb's still in T-spawn right now, so I'm not sure what Na'Vi are thinking here. There's plenty of time on the clock to work with. They've got that short control, and I think Perfecto's just been told, hey, mate, deal with that long push, get us the bomb, and we'll set up for a bit of an A-piece, because that's all there is to play with. Electronic getting limped on out with a flash, but they're just looking to see if they can level up the field here. Damage is good. He's hanging around for this. Baiting out a lot of nades. They're keeping Vitality on their toes. Apex is going to smoke this one off. Maybe you'll drop that on the signal of their A smokes. Electronic setting something up now. Ooh. Navi have all regrouped. Where's Apex's lineup? I think he's trying to dissuade this avant-garde setup, but he's changed it now. Swinging into this ahead of it to get the info, and he does spot Electronic. He knows it's not a ruse. Damage, good damage. Needs the reload, dips down. It's Nevera to be tested now. What have you got? A miss. Perfecto crossing, closing the gap, can crouch now. Nevera knows it. Finds the head, good shooting, RPK, duels with Flamey. Ooh, a spot, Shox has caught Flamey as well. Shox from behind, the saving grace for Vitality. Na'Vi made something out of that 4v5 disadvantage. <sighs> Shox opening and closing that one there. The hugest duel to take was against Simple at the mid doors. So maybe getting a, a little bit ahead of themselves here, Na'Vi, mixing things up. Like you said, Flamey on the AWP. But one of the notes here is Nevera actually over towards the A bomb site with the AWP and Zywu over towards back of Platt. There's a lot of things that could facilitate that. Spawn's usually one of those, but Nevera maybe not as comfortable with that position, at least in his time with Vitality. Been able to survive. 15 to 9. Be back out long. Perfecto. Keeping the pressure oh, on. He's got nowhere to go. Drops the smoke. He'll survive. The nade looks good. Apex, though. Can you find a frag? One. Flamey low, two. The spray could be good. Running out of bullets. 15. Got to choose wisely where he puts them, and he's been caught through the gap. Electronic doesn't see the smoke icon, so he's definitely just found vision. RPK is typically the long player, and I can't even finish my sentence as They're Electronic dark. finishes off RPK. Simple's holding that push. He'll check it. Oh, Arrow. Arrow. Very important. Frag shocks. Don't take your time with it. Gathered long now. Practically locked in if they can push top mid. Oh, they're going T-spawn with the bomb. If they can get a timing on this, there's still one minute left on the clock. Navira, what are you looking at, bro? Smoked. They're going to make it past. No info. If they hightail it to B right now, they can still catch these Vitality players out of position. Zywu hasn't taken Shots back long. still lower though, dude. That's powerful. Imagine if he dropped a smoke. <laughs> How would he get that info though? Oh, is he going to look in here? This is the wrong play. Okay, very tight line. Can he see anything on the gap? Nothing. They've just stalled out a bit. And he's gone oh down. God. Boomich, how do you find it's that? Double orbs. Nevera. I need a frag out of here. And he has found Flamey. Boomich with the bomb on his back up high. Can't hit the flick. Down to 48. Electronic mollies. Running out of safe haven. Jiggles and fit, hits the shot as well. Go on, Nevera. He saves them with a triple kill. Na'Vi are so threatening, but a triple kill from Nevera. The super sub adds another three to the tally. Top of the scoreboard for his squad in the face of adversity. Big frag from Nevera here. He was under pressure. That Molotov behind him couldn't backpedal, had to take the fights and hitting some big frags right there. And once again, shocks onto Simple in two back-to-back -back rounds. They have been key kills in this comeback from Vitality here. Navi will be able to buy again. The AKs, this time no AWP. It looks fast, a the pace. They're heading straight towards B. It looks very fast. Mid spokes already throwing. They might want to extinguish this. Are they going? Shox is to put down the smoke, they'll come through it. Don't have your nade out, it's gonna be so fast. Navira pulls the trigger onto Boomich, good nade damage. Perfecto flashed, a team flash no less. Navi That's starting all. to slip up, and Navira's hitting every shot he takes. Two kills already, there's more damage from Shox. Navira finding another, finally Navira fills the feed. Get out of B, a statement made in two rounds consecutively. Popping off, 11, that's a timeout. Two now taken for Na'Vi. They're on to the 3K mark. They're perhaps trying to rush the finish here. Trying to hurry the, rid the lid of Pandora Pandora's box closed. And now it's given Vitality room to breathe. Fresh oxygen in their lungs. A pitter-patter of applause of the crowd of this grand final. A bit of a smirk right there as well because he's had some huge impact here in the first half. Simple 
he was destroying them round after round. Multi-kills galore. We're not just talking 2Ks, we're talking 4Ks and an ace. Can we take a moment of silence for Apex's 10 assists He's got well. the triple-double here. Poor soul. Hey, you're not happy with that. 10 assists just going oh. awry in a couple of rounds, a couple of kills. But if he comes alive now in the late stages, 15 to 11, still need four more rounds to take us to overtime here on map number two. The buy is looking good. Navi are forced on into this. They've made it work. They've got the Orc for symbol, two AKs out for Flaming Electronic. Utility good as well, and those Tech Nines are perfecto on Boomage. They're used to operating at a weapon disadvantage. Straight out the mid doors again. They've been working with this room so far. Tries to bait out Util with the Tech Nine shots. Electronic, speak of Util, just catches a load of it. Flak now chips away to 63. Vera wants info short. An angle simple favors as well, using it against them as he sees the tip of the head. It's a very hard shot to hit. Boomich actually managed to land what sounded like a dink. It was through the corner though. No damage really inflicted. What's electronic lining up there? I can't believe that that was a two HP dink. That's uh, some wild stuff. Boomich gonna feel it. a little bit hard done by in that sound cue. Maybe he calls that Navira is thinking. low. I think so he pushed for for the sound cue. Well, smoke towards the mid to be this one from Electronic getting ready to go out as well. We'll land on the lip of the boxes. Oh, Apex. I love it. Oh, and it's perfect. Two bodies hit the deck. Na'Vi lose two crucial components of what was supposed to be the B pincer. Only 35 seconds left. They might just consider and save this AWP right here. They can't pick up the AK-47. That's been stolen. Perfecto. Is there a rifle there? Oh, there's another one. Never mind. Two rifles at the double doors. Very fitting. And Shox is taking dark space. With 20 seconds, it would be the save call is the right play. But I'm not sure if they're going to get the chance. If they go down after time, they won't get the loss bonus, which is only 2,900 going forward. Navi will have to take a save. And it felt like they were running away with this, but now the pressure on. Steps are heard. Simple. Can you hold on to the AWP? I can't believe they're not clearing lower tunnels. This is wild. They're hiding in plain sight here. They have just saved the rifles in lower dark as towards T-Spawn is where <laughs> Vitality it. sent out the search party. They get another crack at it. With the 2900 now, you want to see a save. You don't want to see Boomage, Flamey, or Electronic invest anything. That means they get the 3400 in the neck. Ooh, okay. It's actually thrown over the AK because okay. Boomage can afford the Kevlar. Selfless play here from Perfecto. He's been big in this game. He has 21 kills so far. Electronic with 19 and, of course, simple God Mode 36. But... Surprise Perfecto not backing himself in here. It will be a partial investment, and a little bit more than that from Na'Vi. Shox has been great holding this mid-door's presence. Electronic it does have a little glance. Na'Vi when he's slowing it back down. Get a grasp on this again. It's been four in a row for Vitality, starting to plant their feet, dig their heels in to the mud of Dust2. Vitality are playing spawn base with these AWPs. One round Navira's B, the next is over towards A, and then same for Zywu. They keep moving around base of their spawns. That gives them advantage going for some of these early picks. And if they keep going towards Navera, I would be a little bit worried. He is hitting some big shots right now, up yeah. to 23. So more so, pressure towards B. Uh, triple kill and a quad kill from Navera's B tests previously. I'm not going to try and add them together. <laughs> it's 14. Thanks, mate. Oh, Navira. Flash is good. Shox is going to have a lot to deal with from doors. Need to see some so shots hitting. They're swinging. It's so overwhelming. Boomage doubles up. Is this the end? Flamey thinks so. Can't save now. You certainly can't. 45 seconds. Na'Vi looking to go 2 0 up. A perfect flash. They need to finish the job. Flamey's down. So is the bomb. We've got a 3v3. Zoe has good nades for this. There's a Molly on RPK as well, and Apex even with some flashes. They can make this retake work. This has to be perfect. The smoke is going to enable a bit of doubt. An isolation of the jaw. Simple looking for a quick scope. Util dropping. Boomage! What is that? Apex has to clutch up. Baits the shot, but Simple pulls the trigger. A quad kill pulls them across the line. Simple in disbelief.